come to our omnibus report on the suburbs 1958. It says here on the pleasures and entertainment in the suburb, suburbs, one of the great annual excursions of suburbanites everywhere is the trek into the big city to see the hit show of the year. A footnote says this can have complications. See Bert Law in Two for Tonight. <laughs> Thomas Bingham, Bingham Mills Incorporated, etc., etc. Dear Tom, your letter of the 24th received and contents noted. In reply, I wish to state, I have often walked down the street before. What? Oh, excuse me, Miss Jones. I, I, I guess I'm a little too excited for any more dictation today. For two years, for two years I've waited. And at last I'm going to see my fair lady tonight. <laughs> I paid a fellow 50 bucks for these seats, but looks worth it. Fourth row center. Then it's all right if I go home now. Why, certainly, certainly. You can take the rest of the day off. Thanks. It is now 6.45. 6.45. My wife will be here any moment. <laughs> First dinner at Sardi's, and then the rains and paint fall mainly on the plain. The rain Joe, and paint fall it. mainly stop on it, the plain. Stop it, Joe. We can't go. Yes. The rain and paint fall. We can't go. We can't go. Mother's arriving from Chicago on the, on the 9 o'clock plane. Tonight? Tonight. Uh, <laughs> the dating. <laughs> 50 bucks. Fourth row center. Can't you turn them back? For $15? Nothing doing. I, I'd rather give them away. Good night, Mr. Oh, Collins. Oh, Miss Jones. For your many devoted years to the firm, here are two tickets for tonight's performance of My Fair Lady. <laughs> My fair lady, yes. tonight? Yes. I can't go. You, you can't go? I just remembered. Tonight is the night my boyfriend is coming over to talk to my father. Well, why couldn't he come some other night? Listen, it took seven years to arrange this conversation. I've grown accustomed to his face. I know who we can give them to, Edna. Why must it be always your side of the family? <laughs> I'd rather give them to Fred. The prince, that Fred. Saved my life twice. Hello, Fred. This is Joe Collins. Hold on to your hat, baby. I have here in my pocket two seats, fourth row center, for tonight's performance of... Uh, are you listening? My fair lady, and they're yours. <laughs> he's, he's so excited he's telling it to his wife. <laughs> She's yelling out the window to the neighbors. <laughs> Call Edna. What's the matter? They're already booked for the theater tonight. Their daughter, Cynthia, is in the class play. Oh, Cynthia's very talented. And I suppose Julie Andrews is chopped liver. <laughs> Hello, Edna. It's Susie. Are you sitting down, Edna? Well, listen, with the compliments of the Collins family, you are about to receive two free tickets for tonight's performance of My Fair Lady. <laughs> What do you mean you're not sure you want to see it? <laughs> oh, your butcher didn't like it. Who's your butcher? Brooks Atkinson? <laughs> <laughs> what? She wants to know where the seats are. Fourth row for crying out loud center. <laughs> Listen, Edna, you love the show. The, 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 you, you love the music. I could have danced all night. I could have danced all... Your lousy side of the family. <laughs> Joe, why don't you turn the seat back? Nothing doing. I'm not a quitter. I'll find someone. <clears throat> Hello, Pete. This is Joe Collins. Listen, I've done you plenty of favors, right? Well, I got two free tickets tonight for my fair lady, and you're going to use them. See? Yeah, yeah. Pete, I can ruin you in this town. Pete! 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 Well? Sick. <laughs> A slight case of double pneumonia. <laughs> Susie, what are we gonna now do? Now, we'll find somebody, dear. Well, maybe we can find out where your mother's plane is and shoot it down. <laughs> I know, and Fairfield. Well, get her, get her, get her! Get her! Get her. Oh, oh, oh. Don't talk of love, don't I, I 
take your problem, Don't lady. worry, mister. I finish quick. Yes. Oh, whoop your uh, feet. Excuse me, excuse me, lady. Uh, could you use two tickets tonight for my fair lady? They're free. No, thank you, mister. I see it opening night. I, <laughs> I, I got a piece of the show. I get, 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 get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. You, you, get her. Damn. I want to speak to Mrs. Fairfield. It's an emergency. I want to speak to your mommy. What? You want me to tell you a story? I don't know any stories. I just want to speak to your mommy. I, I, I... Oh, you have... I, you got a new bicycle for Christmas? Well, that's very sweet, very sweet. You fell off of it? Good. <laughs> now listen, will you please let me talk to your crummy mommy? <laughs> oh, and... Could you please use two tickets tonight for my fair lady? Yes, they're free. Fourth row center. Oh! What's the oh. matter? Joe, what is it? She'll take them. We <laughs> are real friends. Yes, yes. Yes. Well, now, don't you worry about a thing. You get dressed and I'll call you right back. Who are you calling now? Hello? Viola? Can you babysit for Mrs. Fairfield tonight? You can? You can. Well, you go right over there. Hello, Ann, it's all set. I want to talk to your mommy. <laughs> I, I told you I don't know any story. I can't sing Jailhouse Rock. <laughs> now listen, if you don't let me talk to your mommy, I'm coming over there and set you on fire. <laughs> now, hello, Ann. Now, wait a minute, Ann. Now, Ann, please. I didn't mean to make him cry. How did I know he was an Oedipus complex? <laughs> Ann, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm so Oh, no. Oh, don't, don't. Oh, don't, Joe. Don't, don't, Joe. Don't. Oh. I'm sorry, Susie. I just had to do it. I just had to do it. Hello? What? What? You're in town? Y you're. Oh, no. Who is it? Your mother. She came in early. She's going to see my fair lady. <laughs> 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 